Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm gonna do a quick video here. Well, something I'm thinking of. So, in the name of God, most high, most compassionate, most merciful. I'm going to talk about something here. It's kind of off topic, but it. Then again, it's right on point. So, you know, they've done a lot of research on Atlantis. And information has come about Atlantis and what had happened to it. And so basically, the Atlanteans were uh, very advanced people. They had developed uh, technologies and all kinds of uh, sciences and had advanced their culture to the point where they were abusing their power, let's say, you know, uh, with knowledge comes uh, power, uh, but those who are lacking the wisdom to yield the power can become abusive. So this is what had happened to Atlantis, they say that the uh, elders had moved on and the younger generations that inherited the technologies and the wisdoms and the powers that uh, the culture had uh, developed began to abuse them and they began to seek uh, world domination basically to be oppressive and be tyrannical and so Atlantis had to be wiped out uh, well, the story of the flood. So Atlantis was wiped out and uh, some of their priests had uh, traveled through the land and set up camp basically and began to teach start over again, let's say. Um, one of them went to Egypt. And at the time, uh, you know, Egypt wasn't called Egypt. It was called the land of Chem. And so, this Atlantean priest began to teach the people and raise the, uh, to raise the people, what they say, raise their consciousness to develop them, raise them up from uh, basically like primitive, what we would consider primitive and barbaric, raise them up into a great race. So here we are, Atlantis had been destroyed because they were abusing their powers. So now these powers and technologies were implemented and developed again in the land of Chem and the, uh, what we call Egypt. And this is documented uh, where Pharaoh was basically become, he was a tyrant. He was enslaving people. Uh, the Quran says it, he was very abusive. He would slaughter like the men, steal the children, divide the families, keep the women for slaves and for sexual gratifications and enslave the children and became very horrible so what do Egypt look like now Egypt was destroyed it used to be a lush fertile valley uh, forest and, and basically most of the area now is desolate and dry and desert sands so this is a warning scripture tells us do not return to Egypt and her ways this is, uh, we're here again on, uh, 2023 here on, uh, you know, our American calendars or Gregorian calendars or whatever they call our measurement of the years, 2023. Here we are again. We have nations developed, uh, great technologies and great powers and what are they doing with them? At, uh, conquering other people. Seeking world control. Like this new world order. There's nothing new about it. Okay? This is a repeated pattern over and over and over again. So beware. The signs 
are evident. That's something to think about, y'all. That those who have ears to hear, hear with wisdom and understanding. There are beings on this planet with great power and capabilities, but there is also one above with the ultimate wisdom, all power, and all wisdom, all praise, and all glory is due to the Lord God most high. So, I right, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.